So at ILM, we have a bunch of ongoing challenges to create content that our audience have never seen before. And one of the biggest ones that I've been involved in is trying to create a platform that will literally allow our creatives to do anything they want in real time. Ultimately, all of StageCraft is in service of how do we achieve you know, a client's vision? How do we marry you know, the, the physical environment to the digital environment? And you know, the architecture that we design around all of our stages and all of our you know, pop-ups is really designed to kind of make that process as efficient and as flexible as possible. The more performant we can make the back end, the more flexible we can make the tools, the more we can rapidly iterate and achieve that, that desired vision. For our latest StageCraft build um, in Vancouver, we had um, a very unique challenge due to COVID and hardware restrictions globally. Hitting delivery deadlines is of the utmost importance and having partners like AMD and Supermicro to deliver on the timelines that production sets is incredibly valuable. Everything we do is so reliant on being able to go through iterations so quickly, so seamlessly, to explore options, to tell stories or solve problems. And having AMD as the, you know, the engine behind that part of the machine has been so liberating for our creatives because we can show them options faster and more interactively than ever before. We've been able to have a sense of roadmap and have a sense of what is the best thing to look forward to in terms of targeting our investment, targeting our software development to take advantage of technology that's coming down the pipe. But if you look at sort of like where we were previous generations three or four years ago versus where we are now, the, the capabilities are fundamentally different. So with Threadripper, we saw anywhere between 50 and 100% speed up on some of our complex scene loads. It opened up a lot more avenues for larger media files, more complex geometry, you know, and sort of like taking that leap forward into the complexity of content we were able to deliver. And we've been able to target, depending on the different AMD processors, either a smaller core count, but at a higher clock speed that really maximizes high-end workflows, like on our StageCraft LED volume stages for, for in-camera visual effects, as well as on our render farm, where we really maximize high core counts to get as much throughput as possible in the most energy efficient way that helps costs, but honestly helps the environment as well. They understand what our challenges are and they're coming up with solutions that can meet us halfway and say, hey, if this is a challenge you have today, here's something we might have tomorrow. We're here to tell stories with our clients and AMD Epic has been a great, great enabler for us in that space.